Okay, welcome to this demonstration of Smart Component Technology in SolidWorks 2009. Today I'm going to demonstrate how we can turn a cover plate like this into a smart component such that when we drop it into an assembly it comes in automatically with uh, some other components like say for example the bolts and washers that we would need to fasten this. So the first thing that we need to do to define a smart component is let's define some mate references and that way when we drop a component into an assembly it will automatically know how to assemble itself. Under the reference geometry menu we can choose mate reference and we'll select the outer circular edge on the inside face of this uh, cover plate and this will create a mate reference such that when we drop it in onto a mating part it'll automatically make a concentric and a coincident alignment. The other thing that it'll do is it'll attempt to find a hole pattern like we have in this part and automatically match that up. So now let's open up a dummy assembly and I've just got a simple test assembly here consisting of a simple flange that happens to be the same diameter as my part. I'm going to set all the parts to resolved here and, uh, and now what we'll do uh, is basically we're just using a simple assembly, simple dummy part to build up our smart component. Something that's representative to the way that this component will be placed in reality. First thing is let's insert a new component and let's just insert uh, our cover plate and you'll notice as I move the mouse uh, to insert this component, if I click anywhere in the graphics area, that'll just drop that part at the specified pick point. But if I hover over a particular edge, like say the circular edge of the flange, you'll see that a smart mate is getting applied here. Now this is a special type of mate. Uh, if I were to expand the cover plate, you'll see that there was a concentric mate added to the outer diameters of the flanges, and it, it also aligned one of the holes and made a concentric or a coincident relationship face to face. So this is a special case where SolidWorks was able to recognize that there was a mating hole pattern on both parts. So this is a fully defined component now. Okay. So now the next thing we'll do is let's use smart fasteners to insert some fasteners into this small subassembly. So uh, pick on the flat face of my cover plate and then hit the smart fasteners command and this way I'm telling it find all the holes on that face. It automatically recognizes that there are uh, some holes to be filled. It determines the appropriate size fastener. The default fastener type that I've specified is a socket head cap screw and I can also dynamically drag the length of this fastener. I know that that uh, for the applications I'll be interested in I want to use the half inch long version of that fastener. Let's also add a lock washer to the stack. We'll put this on the top stack. The top stack meaning it's going to be uh, in contact with the head of the socket head cap screw. We can also add to the bottom stack which would be over here on this end as well if we needed a washer and a nut for example. Here let's just place a regular lock washer. Again the smart fasteners is going to choose the appropriate size and you can see how it attaches the, the lock washer to every one of the fasteners. Now we check mark that and keep in mind all we've done at this point is just build up our dummy assembly. You can see in the smart fasteners folder we've got uh, one instance of our socket head cap screw, lock washer and then a derived pattern so that everywhere we've got a pattern on our uh, or an, a whole instance on our cover plate we get an appropriate fastener. Okay, Now the trick is to convert our cover plate into a SolidWorks smart component and that command is found under the insert menu Scr scratch that, tools menu, tools make smart component. When we make a smart component we say well our base component is this cover plate and the components that we want to bring along with it when we create the smart component is all of the fasteners. So I'll expand out in the feature tree. And the trick here when you have a pattern is that you need to expand that pattern and grab all of the instances for that pattern. So we're making the component smart, meaning that whenever we drop this cover plate in, we automatically want it to also populate with the fasteners. Now you can do even more sophisticated sophisticated things with smart components such as automatically create assembly features like say the cutouts or the holes that would be necessary for clearance for these fasteners or you can have auto sizing where 
if the size of your flange varies, for example, it'll automatically determine the correct size of your cover plate. We're just going to keep it simple and just create a smart component that adds in other components when we drop the smart component in. Okay, you can now see a little star on the cover plate on its icon. That means that this part is now designated as a smart component. And if we were to open this part in its own window, the next step in the procedure is to save this as a library feature. So I'll choose right click, add to library. Now my design library is stored just on my C drive and you can see I have a directory here for smart components. I'm going to assign a name to this and I'm going to call it smart cover and I'll store it in the smart components directory of my library features. Now let's put this part to use. I'll open up a test assembly. Make sure all the components are resolved. And we'll just go out to our design library. Look in the smart components directory. And we can see that our newly added smart cover resides here. If we drag and drop, touching on the edge of the housing, before I release the mouse, you can, you'll feel that it smart mates into place, snaps right into place, and our part has been mated. Now we can see the, the star on the smart cover indicating that this is a smart component. If we want to turn on the smart features, just click on that part in the feature manager tree and you'll see a star icon shows that is going to give us the opportunity to insert all the smart features that go along with this. A sub window will show up showing all the things that could be added such as all the fasteners and we'll accept that prompt because we do want to go ahead and populate with all the fasteners and you may need to do a rebuild in order to get that to take effect once you do you can see that the cover plate the fasteners socket head cap screw washers populating all the holes let's go through that procedure one more time this time I'll drag and drop from the design library onto the edge of my housing now whenever you have uh, smart mates with hole patterns you can use the tab key to articulate the orientation of that while you're holding down the mouse. Now I just release the mouse, drop that cover into place, pick on the component in the feature manager tree, click on the smart components icon and tell it that we want to bring along all those other smart components along with this cover and a rebuild and just like that we've automated a pretty tedious process of inserting a cover plate and adding all the fa all the fasteners by embedding the fastener information with the cover and saving that as a SOLIDWORKS smart component. For more information on smart components, check out the SOLIDWORKS help topics and the online tutorials.